Hey guys, welcome back to ShopLite. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Angel Eyes. So this has been a very requested video. The Angel Eyes I'm going to be installing are going to be off of eBay. Uh, they are not the LED ones. I think they're the CCFL ones. They're like $30 on eBay. Uh, and they're, as you can see, they're actually already in here. They're just not wired because we had replaced the entire headlight assembly from the other car. This is my girlfriend's E46, by the way. And we had replaced the whole headlight assembly from her old car. But I'm still gonna show you guys how to remove everything and install them as well. So let's go and start from the beginning. All right, so first things first, what you're gonna wanna do, make sure the car is off, open up the hood, and then you're gonna be at these headlights. Uh, if you have a facelift coupe, then you will not be able to do this DIY because you're gonna have to bake open your headlights in order to open up the actual section inside the lens. Every other E46, you can do this DIY that I'm about to show you. So facelift coupes cannot follow this DIY. Their process is completely different. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove this corner light. Get a long uh, flathead screwdriver like this. There is a hole on the top right here. On the pre-facelift, there's gonna be a hole right here where you push this tab down. Like that. Basically what you're doing is you're pushing this tab down right here and then you're gonna pull it straight out. Go ahead and disconnect the bulb. If you have a facelift sedan, your whole headlight style is gonna be different. And to remove your corner light, you are gonna to have to uh, use a Phillips, there's gonna be a Phillips screw that you just loosen up. You don't have to take it out all the way. You loosen it, and then you can just pull your corner light out. Once you have your corner light removed, next thing you're gonna remove is this bottom trim piece. As you can see, there's a tab right on the inside of this. You wanna push the tab in, pull it out just like that, and then go ahead and pull it out the rest of the way, just like that. So each one of these little tabs latch into the back of the headlight. And even on the facelift sedan, it's practically the same thing. It just latches in. This style will be a little different, but the mechanism is the same. So go ahead and pull that off. All right, now that we're at this position, we're gonna go ahead and remove this headlight gasket. So there's tabs push that hold it in. It snaps right in, so go ahead and pull, push, go ahead and pull the tab up a little bit, just like that. You can use a flathead to make this a little easier. There's one last tab at the very, very bottom that's gonna be a little bit harder. All right, once you have that out, go ahead and set that somewhere safe. Now your next step is going to be removing this headlight lens. So as you can see, there's tabs all around the lens that hold it in. So even on the facelift sedans and pre-facelift coupes, it should be practically the same. The tabs are just gonna be a little bit different, like in, in terms of location, but they're the same tabs. So go ahead and lift the tab up. You'll hear it snap. And there's one more on the side. And then go ahead and try pulling on it a little bit. You're gonna have to keep messing with these tabs. And go ahead and pull it off. Now a few things, you wanna make sure that you have clean hands and you don't have any dirt going into the headlight assembly. If you have xenons, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do not touch this projector or any of the chrome, uh, chromed out things, mainly because if you put fingerprints on it, they're gonna eventually burn the oil from the heat from the light bulb and it's just gonna have a little spot there. So once you have that, uh, once you have the lens removed, we're gonna go ahead and pull off this little uh, trim Just like that, it pulls straight out. There's tabs that go into the headlight assembly. Now you're gonna be at this section right here. Let me go ahead and pull out what we already have in here. All right, so now you wanna go ahead and get your angel eyes ready. So you get these clips, they should be separate. You wanna feed them in through the front section right here, right in the middle where there's a little smaller gap. Go ahead and feed it in through there and then push it all the way to the edges, just like that. Now you're gonna to wanna to feed in this wire. So. This is the trickiest part, and what I like to do is I like to feed it in through the gap where the bulb goes, so there's a little cover in the back where, it atta where the bulb connector attaches to the bulb. So I like to feed it right through this section right here. Let me get a light so I can show you guys. So this right here is the little cover for the bulb, and I like to feed it right out through here. 
So what you want to do is if you can have a helper or just get a flashlight and stick it like pull this little boot off right here and stick your flashlight right down here. That way you can see the light through the headlight and you just feed the wire through there. Let's go ahead and do that first. Grab a needle nose and pull it through. Now you don't want to pull this all the way through, that way you can go ahead and feed the other one first. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and feed the second wire through for the second angel eye. Alright, so now once you have both of the wires out, now let's go ahead and fix the angel eyes onto the headlight uh, shrouds first. Alright, so first we're going to go ahead and get this one for the low beam on. So these clips, they just attach just like that. Go ahead and get it as tight as you can. As you can see, this part is sticking a little bit. You might have some kind of uh, double-sided tape that goes on the bottom. As you can see, the one that we have is all worn out. Do the same thing for the other one. As you see, they're still moving around. You want to put some kind of double-sided tape on the bottom. That way, they don't move around. All right, so once you have that done, now we can go ahead and put the little trim piece back on. Just like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe all this stuff. And get all the dust off. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and put the lens back on. Make sure you line up all of these tabs, especially the one in this corner and the one in this corner right here. Now that all of that's assembled, let's go ahead and put the corner light and the little trim piece on the bottom back. So first things first, on, as you can see on this car right here, we have on the pre-face lift at least, there's a tab that sticks out of the fender that you have to make sure it lines up with this trim piece. So let's push it in. And this tab right here, you want to go ahead and get that lined up with the headlight. And then go ahead and push everything back in. All right, now that's done, let's go ahead and hook up the corner light. First, make sure you don't forget to hook up the bulb. Once that's hooked up, line this up. This tab and this tab have to go inside the headlight. There's two spots, and this middle section slides in right here. All right, now that's in. All right, so once you have the lens back on and the trim and everything as well, go ahead and put your headlight gasket back on. So make sure you line up all the tabs. The, the trickiest one is going to be the one on the bottom. But once that's lined up, then you can just snap all the rest of them in. And there you have it. All right, so on this side, it might be a little bit tougher because the airbox is in the way. If you want to make it a lot easier, you can go ahead and pull off the airbox. It's held in with two 10 millimeter bolts. One right here, one right here. Then there's two clips that hold in the mass airflow sensor, one on each side. You can pull the clip off with like a flathead. Let me show you guys. Just pull the clip off, just like that. And just like that. Now once you have these clips off and undo these two 10 millimeter bolts, there's gonna be another little air duct that plugs into the air box on the bottom and feeds in right into this little gap between the headlight and the radiator support. Make sure when you're pulling this off, you pull the mass airflow sensor off first like this. Push that off, then go ahead and lift up the air box from the back and tilt this down and pull the whole air box out. I'm not gonna go to, I'm not gonna pull this off because I already have the angel eye set up in here, but I'm just showing you guys that way when you guys do it, you know how to. So the process is very similar on this side as it was on the other side. Uh, you Look in this gap right here, use a long flathead screwdriver, push that tab down, pull the corner light out. Next, you go ahead and pull off this trim piece by pushing the tab in right here on the headlight. Pull this trim piece out from this section and just 
pull it off gently from the rest of this and then the tab that's in the fender, pull that straight off. Then you're going to remove this headlight gasket with same tabs like the other side. And then you pull off the lens, same way. And then you pull off the trim that's inside the headlight by just pulling straight out. And then you can go ahead and feed the wires for the angel eyes through, through the high beam little gasket that's on the back of the bulb. And then once you have that, just reassemble everything the same way you took it off. So this is the harness that we have. There's a relay right here and a fuse right here. We don't have to mess with any of that. The harness has everything already taken care of. So all we have to do now is we have to wire it into the car. You're gonna have a yellow wire that you're supposed to feed into the cabin and you're supposed to tap into the footwell light. That way whenever you unlock the car and lock it, uh, it'll fade in and fade out. We're not gonna be hooking that up because our wire was defective and it's not as long. And if you do have that problem with it not being as long, you can strip the wire and add another wire on top. We don't want that function, so we're just gonna leave it. I'll still show you guys how to tap into it, but for now, let's go ahead and set it up with the rest of the car. So first, what you wanna do is you wanna lay out the whole section. So the longest section goes to the driver's side, and the white wire is the one that we tap into the DME box, so make sure that's staying this way. You wanna put the relay, this red wire taps into the or a positive power supply in this terminal right here. And then this black circular section is for the ground, which you can tap in to the bottom section right here. And you have the two wires right here. And these wires just clip in to the harness. Just like that. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and disconnect your battery. That way you don't run the risk of shocking yourself or messing up any fuses in the car. And then you're gonna go ahead and pull off this nut right here, which is a size 19. So go ahead and loosen that nut off. Now you wanna go ahead and hook this one up. What I like to do is I like to put this underneath the actual positive cable. Once you have that wire secured, go ahead and tighten this back up. You can go ahead and close the tab. You can put this right here with this 10 millimeter nut that's existing, or you can put it on this one right here, but there's more heat that's coming from the headers, so I don't suggest to put it right there. And another section you can put it is right back here on this 10 millimeter nut, but that's where I usually put the ground. So the ground is right here, and you can put the ground right on this 10 millimeter nut right here. I'm going to run this wire through right here. Now that's tying down. Now this yellow wire we're not going to be using. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie it up and put it in this drug bin right here. Another spot you can secure it also is next to the secondary air pump mount with a 10 millimeter bolt. Now you wanna go ahead and feed the wire through properly. And then we have this long wire that goes to the other side. And I usually just put it in this bracket right here. And then this white wire goes to the DME. And we have this wire that comes all the way to here. Let's go ahead and get that secured. All right, so once you have this wire ran through this side, you're gonna wanna go ahead and hook up the connectors for the, this angel eyes. There should be two, just the same way as it was on the other side. Go ahead and plug those in. We're actually missing that harness, so we're just gonna leave that, let that be for right now. 
but you just go ahead and plug it in. You're gonna have the red goes to the red, black goes to the black, pushes in right here, and then you plug it into the angel eyes. All right, so now let's go ahead and go to the DME harness. So the only thing that's going to the DME is this white wire right here. And so we're gonna go ahead and remove this cover first. It is held in with five millimeter hex bolts. So let's go ahead and pull those off first. Once you have them removed, just pull the DME cover from this side first, and then it's held in with little clips. These clips right here. So just pull it straight out from there. Now, your harness should have came with some kind of uh, T-tap that you tap into the wiring harness right here. The one that you're gonna be tapping into is this harness right here. So this red and yellow dotted wire right here. If you do not want to use the T-tab, what you can do is get some kind of pin that's going to solidify this wire. So it's just like a little crimp on connector that will fit into this little gap on this connector right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold this wire in half, twist it nice and tight, and then go ahead and push it. All right, so that's secure in there. Make sure you run this white wire through one of these grommets. Push the grommet back in. Make sure that's nice and secure. Make sure it's not touching anything else. Let's go ahead and put the cover back on. Make sure these tabs go into the holder first. So once, the, once those are secure, now your headlight, your angel eyes should be working. As soon as you flip the key to accessory mode, the angel eyes should come on. Like you saw, we only have this side hooked up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the key in accessory mode, and this side should light up. Mm. On. All right, so they're on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to tap in to the footwell light. That way you can have them fade in and fade out whenever you press your unlock and lock button. So what you're gonna have to do is feed this yellow wire into the cabin from one of these grommets. So once you feed it into the cabin, you're gonna have it in your glove box area. So you're gonna have to remove your glove box first. Once you remove your glove box, then you'll be able to see this yellow wire. And I have a video on my channel, which I'll link down below on how to remove your glove box. All right, so the light that we're gonna tap into is this light that's shining in the footwell. Right, so once you have your glove box out, you should be able to pull in that yellow wire through. So go ahead and pull it through. Try to feed it on top of this light right here. So let me go ahead and remove this light so I can show you guys where to tap into. So once you have this light out, you're going to tap into the positive cable right here. It is the red one. So go ahead and if you want to tap into it using a T-tap, you could do that. Or you can just go ahead and stick that pin into this red wire right here, right into the connector. And once you have that stick stuck in there, then every time you press the lock and unlock button, your angel eyes will fade in and fade out. All right, so that's it for this DIY, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching, guys.